Hello class, it's Sherry Hamilton with Grant Thornton and I am so happy to talk with you again today at our session three for junior achievement. So session three is called, how do I become an entrepreneur? It's kind of a big word, right? Entrepreneur is a fancy word for someone who starts their own business. Now I have never started my own business, but my grandpa was an entrepreneur and I worked for him when I was in middle school and high school at his produce stand in Iowa during the summers. So he grew sweet corn and sold it to local customers. My grandpa was famous around Iowa for his delicious sweet corn. My cousins and I would work at his local stand and we would count the ears of corn and put them in bags for customers. We would collect their money for payment. Now back then we didn't accept credit cards so everyone paid with cash. He also sold watermelons that he purchased from another local farmal, farmer and sold them. So we had to put the watermelons on a scale and weigh them as people would pay by the pound for the watermelon. So the heavier the watermelon, the more expensive it was and the more watermelon to eat. So another type of entrepreneur that I love to eat and purchase food from are called food trucks. So food trucks get permission to park their trucks at various locations across the city, and then they sell their food that they make right from the truck. My favorite food truck is called the Flying Stove. So they make the best tacos, hamburgers, and truffle fries. And they know how to advertise through social media. We go to their Facebook page and find out where they're going to be so we can plan to eat uh, their delicious food. There are two examples of how to become an entrepreneur and start your own business. So I hope some of you will have a new idea and become a business owner in the future when you grow up. Now today in session three, you are going to learn what it takes to become an entrepreneur and how entrepreneurs help a city by watching a short video and participating in an activity where you will plan and open your pretend restaurant or your mobile food business. When entrepreneurs create businesses, they help keep cities alive and healthy. I hope you learned something new during the session today and think about how you could one day run your own business. Have a great day, class.